Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's video, we are going to look at how you can generate multiple reports from one pivot table. Say you have a worksheet like this and has a data set consists of sales from um, division and also uh, different managers. And we have the quarter and the year to date sales. And um, so what we want here is to have uh, multiple reports to show the reports for each um, division for maybe each manager to see their year uh, year to date sales compared to the quota. So in, the case, in this case, we're going to use a pivot table to do uh, the report. So let's put a pivot table. So Let's go to the insert tab and select pivot table. And as you can see, the data set has been selected. And I'm going to do this in a new worksheet. OK. So now in this case, we are going to select each of the four fields. OK, let's add the division. And as you can see, it's being added into the row labels. As the same will go for the manager because they are both um, tax value, tax uh, in tax. And if I add the quota and the year to date sales, they will go into the values category because they are in numeric values. Okay. And in the pivot table, let me make this uh, larger so that you can see we have the labels, the sum of quarter, sum of yes, year, year to date sales, and the subtotals for each um, uh, division. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, uh, we need another field here because we want to see uh, the percentage of quota that has been reached by the year to date sales. So rather than um, going back to the data source and adding an extra field here. Uh, and performing an extra calculation, we can just go to the pivot table and uh, use a calculated field, okay? So to do this, just select any numeric cell here, okay? And come over to pivot table tools option and select the drop down menu from the formula and select calculated fields, okay? So here we have the insert calculated fields dialog box. So first of all, let's give it a name. So I'm going to call this calculation percentage of quota, okay? And we have a place here to enter the formula and the formula will always start with the equal sign and what we're going to use is the fields in the pivot table. So we're going to use the year to date sales insert, and we're going to divide it by the quota insert and select OK. So now we have the percentage of quota uh, appear in the pivot table. So now we need to change this to the change the format of this so that it is not in dollars but in percentage. So with any cell selected in here, right click, select the value field settings and select number format. Okay, so here we want to select percentage and zero decimal places, click OK. And we also want to change the name here instead of seeing sum of percentage, we want to see just sum of percentage and notice that this name here is the exact same as the one we have here, percentage of quota. So if we click OK now, we will have an error. So to override this, we put a space after quota here and click OK. So we have the percentage of quota. OK, so um, let's change the format for this one, this field as well. So right click go to value field settings and change the format. This is in currency. So let's select the US dollar currency and zero decimal points. 
Okay, and the same thing, I'm going to change the name to YTD sales, year to date sales, and remember to add a space after the name. So click OK. And we're going to do the same for the quota as well. So right click, go to value few settings, go to number format, currency, let's add the currency, and zero decimal points. And here's change to quota. Remember to add the space. OK, so now we have a pretty nice pivot table that shows a bunch of um, information. But, OK, but if we want to have a report where we can focus on an individual sales uh, individual manager, we need to make some changes. OK, so let's move to the division. Let's move to division row here in the pivot table field is OK. If we move this to the report filter, okay, you will see that we have this filter up here in the pivot table. So now we have all of the, the manager in the pivot table and we can select a certain division. Okay, say I want to send, I want to see, I want to show the, man, the, the manager uh, or the supervisor of the East Coast division the sales of each manager. And I have here. The, the, the amount and if I want to show the mid-Atlantic division and I can show the amount so and say that now if I need to send a report to each of the leaders in each division I wanted to copy this and edit the data so that it can be copied so it's going to take a, a, a lot of work okay but um, the good thing is that with this pivot table, we can um, produce a multiple uh, reports to so that we can send the reports to each individual division. OK. So to do this, we can use the pivot table options. OK. In the option tab, we go to the options. OK. We don't click the option. I will click the drop down arrow. And you see here show report filter pages okay so if i click this we only have one filter which is the division and notice down here in the number of sheets here even when i click ok it's going to produce several reports here for each division okay so when i click ok there you go we have the east coast report we have the northeast report we have the southwest report so i can just copy information here and send it to the head of that division okay whether it's the east coast uh, leader the northwest northeast leader or the south um, southwest leader okay so um, there you have it this is how you can produce or generate multiple reports uh, from one pivot table in microsoft excel so um, that's it for this tutorial i will see you in the next tutorial